Hello everyone, it's Todd Skaggs with ProFootballReferee.com. I hope you have enjoyed the previous videos up to this point. And today I want to give you a chance to take a look inside the upcoming release of the Reading Study Guide to NCAA Football Rules. Now, as you know, this, this new product will be available on CD-ROM as well as in a preloaded MP3 player. At, uh, I listened to you guys on the, the, uh, on the blog and through email and uh, the overwhelming response was to provide it in both uh, formats so it will be available both on a CD-ROM set, collection set, 27 CDs as well as preloaded onto an MP3 player for you to have an portable version if you'd rather have it that way so um, at any rate let's, let's, let's dig into this to take a look inside the Reading Study Guide. This video will last about seven minutes and we will take a look and see, show you exactly what's going to be contained within the study guide itself. So chapter one, the introduction. Chapter two is recent rule changes and also major rule changes for 2011 included in all of the NCAA updates that occurred from the time the manual was published up until the end of the 2011 season. Those are in ch at the end of chapter two. Chapter three is a multi-part CD and covers the kicking game. We will cover free kicks, possession and advance, illegal touching, free kick out of bounds, free kick becoming dead, blocking by the kicking team, blocking the kicker, wedge formation, fouls during free kicks, scrimmage kicks, the right to advance, illegal touching. And in the second CD, scrimmage kick out of bounds, scrimmage kicks become dead, field goals, the try, contacting the kicker, fouls during scrimmage kicks, post scrimmage kick enforcement PSK, fouls during field goals and kick tries, the rules common to both kicks, batting, touching the ball. And then as you will see throughout this particular uh, product, there will be CDs of additional examples. These are case play situations where the situation is read and it's followed immediately by the, ru the correct ruling uh, down distance penalty enforcement and such on. So every chapter uh, throughout has a CD of additional examples and it's a full almost a full hour CD of play situations and the correct ruling on the field. Chapter 4 scrimmage requirements and live ball dead ball. Possession, scrimmage requirements, offensive team A requirements, the snapper, encroachment, false starts, shifts, formations and numbering, the nine yard marks, summary of illegal formations, motion, defensive team B requirements, live and dead ball, the holder, and its own uh, CD of additional examples. Chapter 5, another multi-part CD, the passing game, forward passes, legal and illegal forward passes, incomplete passes, eligibility, illegal touching, ineligibles downfield, downfield contact, pass interference, airborne receiver, roughing the passer, backwards passes, backwards pass versus fumble, the momentum rule, and its own CD of examples as well. Chapter 6, the running game and forward progress. The running game, the runner, helping the runner, handoffs, fumbles, fumble on fourth down and tries, fumble out of bounds, the momentum rule, forward progress, the snap location, and additional examples. Chapter 7 will cover the clock and extra periods. We'll cover the clock, game length, the coin toss, starting and stopping the clock, the play clock, timeouts, suspending the game, timing adjustments, and extending the period. Also in Chapter 7, crowd noise, delay of game, delay at the beginning of a half, the referee's discretion and extra periods along with its chapter 7's CD of additional examples. Chapter 8 major fouls we will cover clipping and blocking in the back, blocking below the waist, blocking out of bounds, chop block, holding and illegal use of hands, leaping, face mask fouls, contacting the snapper, contacting the passer, contacting the kicker, Fighting, targeting opponents, other personal fouls, unsportsmanlike conduct, batting and kicking the ball, 
sideline interference, unfair acts, and then chapter 8's additional examples. Chapter 9 is scoring. We'll cover the touchdown, the field goal, the safety, the momentum rule, safety by penalty, a touchback, a special case of batting, safety versus a touchback, impetus, and the try. And chapter 9 also has its own additional example CD. Chapter 10, substitution. Delayed departure, breaking the huddle, rushing the snap, entering and withdrawing, leaving on the wrong sidelines, entering during a down with no participation, entering from outside team area, interference, confusion and deception, illegal interference, players out of bounds, and additional examples on Chapter 10 CD. Chapter 11 is the largest set of CDs. There are four. Penalty covering penalty enforcements, the classification of fouls, enforcement procedures, dead ball fouls, live ball fouls treated as dead ball fouls, live ball fouls, multiple fouls, the three-in-one principle, previous spot enforcement, pass plays, fouls by team A on kick plays, post scrimmage kick enforcement, PSK, other change of possession fouls, offsetting fouls, fouls between series, half the distance enforcement, clock runoff, the end zone, scoring plays, the try, after the try, and a summary of carryover penalties. Chapter 11 also comes with its own CD of additional examples. And the last chapter, chapter 12, covers loose ends and other stuff, the inadvertent whistle, down errors, judgment errors, officials jurisdiction, equipment, violation versus foul, and a short piece on the myth of the muff, and additional examples 1 through 22. This concludes the content of the Reading Study Guide to NCA Football Rules. As you can tell, there is just a just an overwhelming amount of good information. It's organized in a fashion that makes it easy to study. 27 CDs, over 27 hours of study football study rules help designed to make you uh, better at the rule book, improve your rules knowledge, and hopes one day that you can become a football rules guru. And as always, striving to help you become the best on the field. That's all for now, and stay tuned for the next video. We'll talk soon.